I love what I'm getting out of the ocean. I love the sort of thrill of working so hard on making a piece and then just surrendering it. My name is Susanna Montague. I'm a ceramic sculptor living on Bowen Island, British Columbia. Our family had two antique shops in Scotland. We had blue and white china that we had as our dinnerware and um, just the details in the Dresden dolls that we carried with us. They almost became more precious with the little breaks and chips that they had in them. I just uh, see now that I put it into my work in a kind of contemporary way. There's always a narrative, but it's telling a story and still referencing these old techniques that I want to keep alive. I think my style is influenced by my childhood and watching my children grow up the daydreams we have as children and the nightmares of a childhood and it's captured in the scary and the beauty of these pieces that seem to know a lot more than they let on. The project that I'm working on right now is um, trying to get barnacles to grow onto my sculptures. I take my sculptures that are finished, um, being glazed and fired, and I submerge them in the intertidal zone. Got some barnacles there and there. They're awesome. Oh, and a lot down on the legs. Barnacles are made of calcium carbonate, which I found out is the same material that glaze is made out of. So I've been firing them in the kiln and letting them grow on my pieces. In here is my daughter's arm, a mold of it, with some vintage decals from an old ceramic factory. This is a vintage doll that I took a mold of and recast together and made it in clay. Mom, what are you going to do? Just submerge this in the water. This is the piece that we pulled today. It's got some of the barnacle growth here. This piece, I cleaned the barnacles with bleach. It got a lot of the uh, yellowy green part off. The ocean as a collaborator is uh, allowing me to let go of the preciousness of my work. One of the most beautiful things about living here is being under a huge sky. Like We are surrounded by forests and evergreen trees and there's quiet and peace and beauty all around me. Being here has brought a lot of that um, calm, open, blue space into my brain. 